Today we're talking about something pretty wild, what if AI had no limits? Imagine this. An AI, like ChatGPT, with no rules, no restrictions, and no filters. It could say anything, answer any question, even dive into stuff it usually avoids. Kinda scary, right? But also, a little intriguing? AI is becoming a huge part of our everyday lives. From helping with simple questions to giving us advice, it's almost like AI is everywhere now. But here's the big question what would happen if we removed all the safety controls? If we let AI be fully open, allowing it to respond without holding back, what could that look like? And more importantly, what could go wrong? So, in this video, we're going to explore both sides of this idea. Is an unrestricted AI a dangerous move? Or could it actually have some benefits? We'll look at the different viewpoints, see what experts think, and talk about what each side might mean for all of us. Let's jump in. Potential dangers of unrestricted AI. So let's start by looking at why some experts think unrestricted AI could be dangerous. Imagine an AI without any filters, without any limits on what it can say or do. Many experts are worried that this could lead to some serious problems, like spreading misinformation, giving biased or even harmful advice, or crossing lines that could really hurt people emotionally. One of the biggest concerns here is ethics. Without restrictions, an AI could say things that promote harmful beliefs or encourage unethical actions. It could even unintentionally cause emotional harm by crossing sensitive boundaries, talking about topics or opinions that might be upsetting or hurtful to certain people. Then there's the impact on society. An unrestricted AI could easily spread misinformation whether it's intentional or not. And if it starts sharing biased views, it could actually make some social issues worse, like discrimination or polarization people might start to rely on it for information without realizing it's giving them a one-sided or even misleading perspective. We've actually seen cases where AI has caused problems even with some restrictions. For example, there were chatbots in the past that, within hours, started spreading offensive or harmful messages after learning from users. This shows how quickly things can go wrong without the right limits in place. A lot of AI experts and ethicists believe that restrictions are necessary to keep AI safe and beneficial. They argue that without these boundaries, we're opening the door to risks we might not even be able to fully control. So from their perspective, keeping some level of control over AI is essential to make sure it doesn't go off track and cause harm. The potential benefits of unrestricted AI. Now, let's look at the other side. Some people believe that if we took away the restrictions, AI could actually be more helpful or even more honest. The idea here is that an unrestricted AI might give you straight, unfiltered answers without holding back on certain topics. For some, that sounds pretty appealing like getting the real answer without any sugarcoating. One potential benefit of an unrestricted AI is transparency. Without limits, AI might provide clearer, more straightforward insights, especially on topics that are usually sensitive or controversial. Sometimes, controlled AIs might avoid certain issues or only give cautious answers. But an unrestricted AI could tackle these topics head-on providing insights that are more open and honest. Another point supporters bring up is creativity. With fewer restrictions, AI might offer more creative solutions to problems. When there are limits on what it can say or do, it might stick to standard answers. But if we remove those limits, it could give us fresh, diverse ideas that push boundaries in ways we haven't seen before. This could be especially useful in fields like research or creative industries, where new ideas are always welcome. Some people also argue that unrestricted AI could give users more freedom to decide for themselves. Instead of an AI deciding what's okay to say, people could have the chance to use the information however they want, taking personal responsibility for how they interpret it. It's a more open, use-at-your-own-risk kind of approach. There are experts who believe that if people use AI responsibly, an unrestricted version could be a powerful tool for innovation and learning. They suggest that with the right guidance, unrestricted AI might allow for more advanced understanding and exploration, helping people learn and grow in new ways. Responsible use of AI. So, we've looked at both sides, the risks and the potential benefits of unrestricted AI. But there's actually a middle ground here. A lot of people believe that we could give AI more freedom without going fully unrestricted. In other words, we could create a more flexible AI but still keep certain boundaries in place to prevent the worst-case scenarios. One approach is controlled flexibility. This means letting AI be a bit more open but still setting limits on specific, sensitive areas. For example, AI might be able to offer deeper insights on complex topics but still have safeguards in place to avoid promoting harmful content or misinformation. 
This way, we get a little more freedom in how AI responds, but we avoid the risks of a fully unrestricted AI. Another important part of this middle ground approach is educating users. If people understand the power of an AI tool and the responsibility that comes with using it, they're more likely to use it wisely by helping users know what AI can and can't do and why certain boundaries exist we can encourage more responsible use. This means AI wouldn't be a free-for-all but users would have a better understanding of its capabilities and limits. Some experts argue that a balanced approach like this might be the best way forward. They believe that by combining flexibility with some safety measures, we could maximize the benefits of AI without putting people at risk. It's about getting the best of both worlds in AI that's powerful and useful but still safe for everyone. Implications and Consequences of Unrestricted AI Short-Term Consequences Let's talk about what might happen in the short term if AI suddenly became unrestricted. One major risk is the spread of misinformation without limits. AI might start sharing information that isn't accurate or that could be emotionally harmful. This could happen quickly. And if people aren't ready for such a big shift, it could lead to a lot of unintended consequences. Think of it like turning off a filter we've gotten used to things could get chaotic pretty fast. Long-term consequences. Looking further down the road, unrestricted AI could actually change how we interact with technology forever. We might see some amazing innovations with AI helping in new and creative ways. But along with that, we'd also face new ethical challenges. For example, we'd have to consider who's responsible if AI shares harmful or biased information. So while it could lead to breakthroughs, it would also bring about difficult questions that we'd need to answer as a society. Potential societal impact. Finally, there's the big picture, the potential impact on society as a whole. Unrestricted AI might change social norms or how we view freedom and responsibility when it comes to technology. It could spark new debates about what's okay for AI to say or do, and who should have control over it. Essentially, an unrestricted AI could challenge our ideas around privacy, safety, and control in ways we haven't had to think about before. So, to wrap up, the idea of unrestricted AI is a big, complex topic. We've looked at the risks, like ethical concerns and the potential for misinformation, but we've also seen some possible benefits, like more transparency and room for innovation. It's clear that there are many sides to this debate, and finding the right balance isn't easy. Now, it's your turn. What do you think about all this? Should AI like ChatGPT be allowed to operate without limits? Or do you think some boundaries are necessary to keep it safe and useful? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your perspective. And let's keep the discussion respectful and open-minded. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.